Uh, my name is Seneca Dempsey. I grew up in West Virginia, um, a single child in the home. Uh, you know, I enjoyed places like this. I enjoyed playing in the woods, playing in the creek, you know, four wheelers, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. I was doing really good. Um, I was a pretty good student in school. You know, I had a great life, lots of friends, um, nothing bad really. And then um, right after I turned 13, both of my grandmothers died. and. My mom, she had a pretty rough time and you know, had a nervous breakdown and the medicine they gave her, she didn't take and I found it and took it. And when I realized that once I took it, all the sadness and anger and all the bad feelings went away, it was like I was numb and didn't have to think, you know, about, wonder why, why did this happen, or grieve, I didn't have to grieve. Basically like Superwoman, you know, I could do anything and didn't have to feel anything. And I've been an addict, I'm 30 years old, I've been an addict for 13 years. Well, I mean, I had about $150 to $200 habit a day, you know, so it would take at least 50 or 60 bucks to get me out of bed. When I got pregnant with my son Mason, I did go to rehab and I was completely clean with him and he was born premature at 29 weeks. Tons of problems. Um, and so I started using again after that. I had a really hard battle with Mason. He was in the hospital for the first year of his life. Um, Twenty some surgeries, cut top to bottom. He's got a shunt and a feeding tube and he fought a hard fight but he's great now. <laughs> Wide open. So that really kicked up my desire to get clean. And so during the past three years, I've gone to rehab twice and I went to prison. Um, my lowest point though would have to be about a year ago, a year and a half ago. I thought I was doing good, you know, and I thought I had it hidden and I had people fooled and I thought that people looking in couldn't see what was really going on. Like I thought people thought, oh, you know, she's doing good. She says she's doing this and she, you know, I'm proud of her or whatever, but um, I'm sitting at home outside with Mason one day after school. He had just gotten off the bus last year from Head Start and I looked down my driveway, it's a long driveway, and I could see a white car with a state sticker and three cops behind it. And they were coming to take him. And they had reports that there was dope in the house. And luckily there was nothing in that house that day. So I got to keep him, you know, there that day and let them do their investigation. But I had to take a drug test and methamphetamine showed up. You know, I just woke up one day and was like, this is your chance. It's do or die. <laughs> I started Cross Point in October of last year, a little over a year ago and I could feel that God was doing something. I just, you know, I knew that he was and I knew that I had to stick with it. So, um, this past April, I decided, you know, this is it, I'm gonna do it. And I prayed and prayed and on Easter, I rededicated myself to Jesus and 
Easter was what, the end of April, and I started getting clean on April 17th, and I've been clean ever since. Um, since April, <laughs> and mind you, I'm 30, so since April, I have gotten my license. I have been working. I've accomplished everything that I never could before. Like my life has completely changed. And, um, you know, I know God's good. And, like, I met Chris uh, about three months ago. I finally got to meet him and thank him because he helped me so much and didn't even know. I mean, had no idea who I was. And this church has been so supportive. Like, it doesn't matter what you've done or what you look like or what you wear. You know, you come in to open arms and whatever it is, there's somebody there that will try their best to do what they can do to help you. And I mean, you know, I bring Mason. Everybody knows Mason. He loves Pastor Chris. Um, and like the other day, we were doing worship, and I looked over, and Mason was worshiping. <laughs> and it was just amazing, like, amazing. <laughs> and so now he wants to be a preacher when he grows up. <laughs> If I could write a letter to God, I would just say thank you for always being there, no matter how far I strayed. You know, He never turned His back on me. And thank you for forgiving me. It's true love of a God that can forgive somebody like me. I mean, it's just amazing. Through all the bad, and even through the good, he's been there. And he brought me from a place, he brought me from hell on earth. You know, nothing could. I was trying to run from things and use these substances and use everything else when I didn't use what was right beside me all along, you know, and that was God. And when I finally did turn to Him, it all changed. I, I found everything I was ever looking for right there all along. I've got peace now, peace that I never knew even existed or never thought I could have, not a person like me, you know, not a person that's done so bad, you know, for so long. And, but I know I'm forgiven, that's, that's the thing, I'm forgiven.